as a Rōpū, you know, we're looking to always uh, improve our reo Māori, like this year we'll be running two te reo programs from this venue uh, with Te Wānanga Wao Te Rō. The whare has a name, um, Te Whare Whakapaparāranga, meaning the weaving of histories, yeah, the re- weaving of stories of mm. past. This place holds that name and um, for us it's about making sure we hold the modi for this place. It was, it was fantastic listening to Ra and his kōrero around the name Paitumukai Otauda made us realise that there, there are actually a few stories around the name. The um, purako that goes with that name and it talks of Kupe um, on one of his journeys to I think he was travelling the Rimutakas to go to Wellington to fight the Fiki. He um, left his dog on the Pai to look out over the valley in place of him. And um, which I've heard other um, Puraka around Kupe always having a pet that he would do that with. They were like a guard for him. So yeah, we felt that it was quite an appropriate name for us. It talked about the region, the area. Um, from there, we also interviewed Ra Smith, who gave us more dialogue on the name. So there's the one with Kupe and his pet dog, whose name was Tawira. Uh But there's another one that um, this area, before the 1855 earthquake, was quite swampy and it was a really amazing place for gathering food. It was a seasonal place of um, um, mahi kai, you know, gathering kai. And the wider upper term for that is topahi. So it was a topahi where local marae and hapu would come and uh, in a certain season, you can gather, you know, birds, manu, um, all sorts of rongoa from the from the forest, tuna, koda. It was just plentiful. It was abundant. And um, one of the stories is that the birds were so tame and fat and juicy that uh, they could have been somebody's pet. You know, mokai is the is the word for pet, and pai is uh, another term for a, a horizontal kind of like the pai pai or a branch. So you can imagine back then there's all these kereru, big fat juicy kereru sort of sitting up on the branches and they just seem so tame. Another kōrero is around um, uh, the sister of Te Rerewa, who was a Rangitane chief and her name was Hene Tawira. And she was the mother of a Kahanuni chief, uh, Te Rangitāwhanga as well. And there was a peace formed between uh, Rangi Tafanga and Te Rerewa and Hini Tauira being the mum of what, you know, and the sister was part of that peace process. So there's a potential that Tauira is, is in the name here as well. Um, and Te Rerewa actually asked um, Rangi Tafanga to build him four canoes so that Rangi Tane could actually migrate over to the South Island, you know, when, when Kahanuni came down. It was a very, it was amicable and, and um, you know, Kahanuni offered all sorts of weapons and jewellery and things, but Te Rerewa said, no, I want you to build me four waka so that we can go to the South Island. And one of those waka was named Otawira. So there's lots of, lots of stories, which, you know, gives the name um, so much depth and richness that I don't think any of us sort of knew before. Yeah, no. Ra sort of came down, you know. Um, so that's something that we're very keen to promote and out amongst the schools and you know just online as well. Yeah, this is a place of significance. Yeah, Potumukaya Tawira.